And welcome back to Math Party, people. All right, so here we are. We're looking at round three here. We're in the previous two videos. We went over the product of powers law, where we multiply powers. Then we also went over dividing powers, and now we're getting into the power of powers law. So again, just like everything before this, we've seen that there's a set of rules that we follow, and as long as we work to understand why those rules work, we're in a good spot to succeed. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here and show you why the rule is like this. When you have a power to a power, let's go ahead and say you have some variable or whatever, some base to the power of A, and then it's to the, you know, in a parentheses and it's to another power. The rule is when you have a power to a power, you multiply the powers, you multiply the exponents. So that would be X to the power of A times B. Just write that down. Just write that down because I'm gonna make sure that this makes sense starting right now. But before we begin, Remember, if you're in the course of the program, up next what you're gonna see are worksheets for the power of power laws, and after that, speed drills. That way, you can again, practice each and every single one of these techniques and make sure that you're confident, cool, and collected every single time you see this. So, here we go now. Let's go ahead and take care of business. Why is it that you multiply the exponents when you have a power to a power? Well, it's actually very straightforward here. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna use this example right over here. The a to the power of 10, all to the power of three. I'm gonna use this example right here. So my party people, first of all, let me just go ahead and use some of the basic facts that I know that you know. I know that you know this. So look, is it true, before I begin, it's true, right, that if I say, well, uh, five to the power of three, that means five times itself three times, right? Okay, cool, right? nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy. You know, if I even had a variable, let's go ahead and say x to the power of three. Well, that means x multiplied by itself three times, right? Right, so again, we know what an exponent means. We know what an exponent means. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. And so with that said, if I'm looking at a to the power of 10, all of that cubed, really what that means, my party people, and tell me if you agree, what that means is that we have a to the power of 10, multiplied by itself three times. One, two, three times. That's what we have, right? So all I'm using is our knowledge of what we already know. An exponent tells you how many times you're multiplying that number. And what rule did we learn a couple of videos ago? Remember, we learned the product of powers. When you multiply powers like this, what do you do with those exponents? So if they have the same base, which obviously they do here, we add those exponents. 10 plus 10 plus 10. And so what this would become is a total of a to the power of 30. But what's another way to get 30? Think about it. If I add 10 three times, 10 plus 10 plus 10, if I add 10 three times, isn't that the same as 10 times three? It is, right? It absolutely is. And so I hope you notice that the answer here will be, again, a to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10 but that's the same thing as a to the power of 10 times three. It's the same idea. And that's why I wanted to show you that because again, the shortcut is if you have a power to a power, you simply multiply those exponents, full stop. But in this video, remember, I'm gonna show you many examples and I'm gonna get into the more difficult realms as we keep going forward. So pay attention to the whole video because I'm gonna show you what happens when you have more than just an A, what if you have a and B inside of the parentheses with a number, what happens? So let's pay attention there because I wanna show you every which way that this can work. So here we go. The first answer here, like we said, was B. The shortcut is power to a power, multiply those exponents. Let's take a look at problem number two. Here's how we're gonna take care of this. So what we have is the entirety of three V to the power of six, all to the power of four. Okay, cool. So how are we gonna take care of business here? Well, what we're gonna do is, here's the thing. When you have just one term, one monomial, so we have you know three V to the power of six all connected, and you have a parentheses with an exponent, 
Well, what you're going to do is you're still going to multiply those exponents. You're still going to do it. But you have to be very careful in terms of identifying the exponents themselves. What do I mean by that? Well, take care of this. Let's take a, let's take a look at the 3. What exponent does the 3 have? You might be tempted to say 6, and that is not correct. The 3 has a power of 1. It's an exponent of 1. And so, remember, if you don't see an exponent, the exponent is 1. And what you're going to do is you're going to multiply that exponent on the outside with every exponent on the inside. So the rule is a power to a power, multiply the exponents. And so if you have more than you know, a couple of pieces attached, remember that each individual piece has its own exponent. This is something that a lot of people get confused about, but if you can get through this, you're in a good spot. Because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have three to the power of four now. Why four? Because when you multiply, well, one times four is just gonna be four. So shortcut, again, if you don't see an exponent on there, just replace the exponent that's on the outside. It's just gonna go ahead and become that exponent. Because the exponent was one, one times anything is gonna be that anything. Now let's go ahead and get to the V here. The V, we have a six, and that's gonna be six times four. And there we go. Now we're ready to simplify this and get the final job done. Because again, one times four is gonna be four, six times four is gonna be 24. So we're gonna have three to the power of four times V to the power of 24. Now, if you look at your answer choices, I think that we are not seeing a three to the power of four. So we're gonna to have to simplify this by expanding what three to the power of four is. Remember that that's gonna be three multiplied by itself four times. So there we have it. And so what we may, what we may notice my math party people is this, three times three, is nine, three times three is nine, nine times nine is 81, booyah. And so the final answer will be 81 V to the power of 24, and that is answer choice B for us here. So again, just to recap it, a power to a power, we multiply those powers. And on top of that, remember that each individual piece in a term has its own exponent. So you have to make sure you pay attention to that so you can understand what's going on. So just back to the basics again. We have b to the power of 9, all to the power of 7. So when we take care of business here, we'll multiply those exponents. So that will end up being b to the power of 9 times 7, which is going to be the same as saying b to the power of 63. And that is a. So again, power to a power, multiply those exponents. Let's take a look at another one here. And then remember, we're gonna get into some more difficult problems, some more difficult examples. That way you can see the scope of how far this can go. And in the next video, we're gonna introduce negative exponents. And then after that, mixing all the practice together. So here, number four, we have ourselves three m cubed all to the power of six. So just like in the previous example, remember, we're gonna go ahead and basically multiply each exponent by that exponent outside the parentheses. So remember, this three has an exponent of one. We have to make sure that we identify the exponent of each piece. And so the shortcut really is, again, if you're gonna be multiplying the one by six, that's just gonna be six. So one way to realize this is saying, hey, if we have three to the power of six, that's the same thing as just saying three to the power of six without the parentheses. Because if you had three to the power of one, which is the same thing, that's gonna be three to the power of one times six, and that's gonna be three to the power of six anyway. So I wanna give you a little bit of ease when it comes to dealing with something like this, because when you don't see an exponent and you're going ahead and doing the power to a power rule, just replace anything that doesn't have an exponent with the exponent outside, just like this. So we're gonna have three to the power of six, and then the m would be m to the power of three times six, because the m had a three. Here, the three just had an exponent of one. So that's why one times six is still gonna be six, we're good. So now over here, we have three times six is gonna be 18. So our final answer will be three to the power of six times m to the power of 18. Now the only work we have to do now is really figure out what three to the power of six really is. My ass bad party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. 
because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. And so three to the power of six will be what? Well, that's gonna be three times three times three, six times. And we have that right there. So what do we do next? Well, I want you to understand that, hey, look, three times three is nine. This is gonna be nine and that's gonna be nine. So we have nine times nine times nine. We know that nine times nine is gonna be 81 times nine. And then when you use a little bit of mental math, 80 times nine is 72, so 720. And then you have one times nine, which is nine, so 729. You can do some work there to do it, but you have 729 m to the power of 18. Just like that. So again, I'm really hoping this is making sense because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take us through some more hefty examples. Some more examples where we have some more complicated things going on. Let's go ahead and check it out here. So let's go ahead and zoom on over to problem number 51 and beyond. So let's go ahead and try out number 55. Here we go. So number 55, checking things out here, what we see is that we have all this under parentheses and then we have a power of two on outside of it. So with that, again, we're gonna replace every exponent and multiply it by two. Multiply every exponent by two. So with that, what we'll have is two that was to the power of one. We didn't have an exponent there. So that's just gonna be two to the power of two. Up next, we have the x that's to the power of seven, but we're gonna multiply that exponent by two. And then we have y to the power of eight. And again, we're multiplying that by two. That's the main rule there for power to a power. And so with that, there we go, my math party people. Two squared, that's gonna be four. Seven times two is 14. So we have x to the power of 14. 8 times 2 is 16, so y to the power of 16. And there we go. Final answer is b. Now let's keep it going. I have maybe three or four more examples to show you. But again, I really want to make sure I show you what happens when things seemingly get more complicated. Because when we're done going through all of these techniques, then what you're going to see at last is you're going to see guided practice videos for all the types of mixtures that we can do. Product and quotient laws, product and powers, quotient and powers. We're going to have everything mixed together and I'm going to show you all these different types of examples. And if you can handle those, you're good. You really, really are. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Number 56 here. We have ourselves 3y x to the power of zero all to the power of eight. First of all, you can actually simplify before you begin. Because remember, anything to the power of zero is just going to be one. And so you can, before you even start, you can write this as 3y all to the power of 8. Just like that. There's nothing stopping us there. We can absolutely do that. Absolutely. And so from here, now we're going to go ahead and apply our law. So we have that 8 that's going to go ahead and replace those exponents. Because 1 times 8 is just going to be 8. So we have ourselves 3 to the power of 8 times y to the power of 8. And now the only really hard part is, what the heck is 3 to the power of 8? And so my party people, here we go. 3 to the power of 8 would end up being 3 multiplied by itself 8 times, correct? 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So that's 8 threes being multiplied together. That's going to be 9, 9, 9, and 9. Okay. And so then 9 times 9, that's going to be 81. 
that's gonna be 81. And so now we just have to go ahead and multiply and figure out what 81 times 81 is. Now I'm not here to show you, you know, how to go ahead and do long multiplication. We have a video on that. But here, 81 times one is 81. 81 times eight, that's gonna be eight. And then 64 here, add all that together. And we will have a one there, six there, five and six. So that'll be 6,561 times y to the power of eight. Just like that. So again, the law of multiplication, don't worry about all that. But I just wanted to show you again, when we have that exponent outside, booyah, there we go. Let's go ahead and take care of business one more time here. Let's go ahead and get to, let's go ahead and say pass number 75. So let's try out, let's say, well, number 82. Let's check out number 82 really quick. This seems complicated, right? Absolutely not. What do we say? Anything to the power of zero is what? One. Anything to the power of zero is one. So really what we're looking at, my party people, is this. If you wanted to go ahead and put a block around this, do your thing. Do your thing. Because, my party people, if I wanted to fill that in with black, anything to the power of zero is one. I don't care what you have in there. It doesn't matter. It could be 17.26590. It could be 2x squared y fifth power. Doesn't matter. Anything to the power of zero is one. It doesn't matter. There it is. So don't get confused. Don't get twisted here. You're fine. Let's go ahead and take care of, let's say, something to the effect of, let's say, number 86. So remember, power to a power, you multiply each piece's exponent by that exponent. So that's going to be x to the power of 9 times 6 times z to the power of 10 times 6. And that ends up being x to the power of 54 times z to the power of 60. And there it is. We're all good. So again, my part of people, look, this is not terribly complicated. It's when we start mixing the topics together that might make it feel complicated. So let's go ahead and take care of number 88 here, and then we're going to call it a day. So here, number 88, again, like always, we're going to go ahead and distribute that exponent to all the other exponents. Notice we have four. This is two to the power of one. So that will be replaced with two to the power of five. Then you have x to the power of six times five y to the power of 9 times 5, and z to the power of 9 times 5. Remember, my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free, so go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. So when you write your final answer, two to the power of five is gonna be two times itself five times. So that's gonna be four, so I'm gonna just go and write it down here. Four, eight, 16, 32. 2 times itself 5 times is 32. And then we have 6 times 5, that's going to be 30. 45. 45. And there we have it, my math party people. Boom, all good. 32, x to the power of 30, y to the power of 45, z to the power of 45. And there it is, my math party people. So again, what we're looking at here is we're saying, hey, what happens if we have the rule for power to a power? What do we do with these unique situations? We just went through it. Now up next, we're gonna go through negative exponents and that's gonna go ahead and cover all of the separate rules for the law of exponents. And from there, then we're gonna mix everything together and really kick it into high gear. That way we can show that we've mastered this all the way through. Again, my name is Coach Anderson. I'm here to help you succeed and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. For now, move forward to the worksheets, the speed drills if you're in the program, and then from there, Let's keep raising that score. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.